Delhi Minister and prominent AAP leader Kailash Gehlot appeared before the Enforcement Directorate today for questioning in connection with an alleged money laundering case linked to the Delhi liquor policy. Hello and welcome. This is Akanksha and you're watching HW News English. Kailash Gehlot, who currently holds key portfolios in Delhi government, including home, transport and law, was summoned early on Saturday by the ED. This development follows Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest by the ED on March 21st. Kejriwal became the first sitting Chief Minister in independent India to be arrested and remains in the ED custody until April 1st. As per reports, ED sources have disclosed that Kailash Gehlot has been called upon to provide his statement under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act in Delhi government's excise policy for the year 2021 and 2022. The ED has alleged that the policy in question offered profit margins, particularly for the retailers reaching nearly 185% and for the wholesalers around 12%. Furthermore, it is claimed that substantial amounts over rupees 600 crores were siphoned off as bribes, purportedly challenged to finance election campaigns in Goa and Punjab, with allegations of kickbacks totaling rupees 100 crores being funneled to the AAP and its leadership. Additionally, the agency has raised concern about Mr. Gehlot's purported involvement in managing a single SIM number while altering its international mobile equipment identity thrice. Notably, K. Kavita, leader of Bharat Rashtriya Samiti and daughter of former Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao is also currently under ED detention. Meanwhile, Mani Sisodia and AAP MP Sanjay Singh find themselves incarcerated in Delhi's Tihar jail, adding to the growing list of high-profile individuals. The whole case traces back to a report submitted by Delhi Chief Secretary Naresh Kumar to Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena in July 2022, highlighting alleged procedural irregularities in the formulation of the Delhi Excise Policy 2021 and 2022. Despite coming into effect in November 2021, the policy was nullified in July 2022 with two separate cases registered, one by the Central Bureau of Investigation and other by the Enforcement Directorate, remains spotlight and firmly fixed on the intricate web of allegations surrounding the Delhi liquor policy case. That's all for this news report. Till then, keep watching HW News English and download our app HW News Shorts. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shorts in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.